How's it going YouTube? It's Varmin for TVape and today we are comparing the Utilian 620 with the Air Max by Ariser. Let's get into the showdown. So starting off with build quality, both devices have a lot to offer. The Utilian 620 boasts a slick juice box style design using an anodized aluminum shell. The heating chamber uses regular aluminum and the stem is made out of a borosilicate glass. The Air Max also uses an all aluminum body and heating chamber and features a glass stem and glass water pipe adapter. The protruding glass stem on the Air Max is far more likely to break than the stem on the 620 seeing as more of the 620's stem is protected by the body. The workaround with the Air Max would be using a carrier case like the Zeus armor kit, but that would require taking the stem out of the device and emptying any herb you have left over. And in my personal use, I found myself a lot more comfortable throwing the 620 in a bag without worrying. I still use the Air Max quite a bit, just mostly at home. So if you're looking to commute with your device, I'd highly recommend the 620. And now the important part, the vapor. Both devices offer great vapor quality at a wide range of temperatures. The Utilian 620 has a temperature range spanning from 160 to 220 degrees Celsius, while the Air Max has a wider range spanning from 40 degrees Celsius to 220 degrees Celsius. And both devices are able to pump out massive dense clouds no problem when maxed out to 220 degrees. But they hit even harder with the use of the water filtration from something like the universal bubbler attachment. With the water filtration providing cooler, smoother, and bigger hits. The Utilian 620 gets up to temp in about 40 seconds, whereas the Air Max gets up to max temperature in about one and a half minutes. Now I like that the 620 starts heating up the second you turn the device on as opposed to having to press the plus button to start a heating cycle like you do on the Air Max. Now the Utilian 620 takes advantage of its convection helix located directly under the aluminum chamber. The metal helix heats up and sends air through its spiral in order to preheat air before it enters your bowl. This helps promote better convection heating and a more even cooking of your botanical. With that said though, that's signature pure ariser taste is hard to beat and has always been a key selling point of their products. So if you're somebody who's looking for flavor specifically, I'd recommend going with the Air Max as it has that lower temperature floor. Now both devices get up to temp pretty quick, but not as quick as the car in the poster behind me, which we are giving away. Yes, as always, we are giving away the poster as seen behind me. So make sure you like this video, comment down below, and hit subscribe in order to be entered to win this thing. And make sure you comment on this video, otherwise you will have to go back to the future to do so. I think I made a Fast and Furious reference last time, but looking closer, I'm pretty sure it's a DeLorean. Look, I'm a Zoomer, I don't know movies. I only know memes that don't make people laugh. Now the Air Max can sometimes be a little cumbersome to clean. Sometimes you'll get a little cooked herb stuck in the bottom of your bowl, or you'll get a little residue buildup in the base of your stem, and you aren't really able to clean both without a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol. The Utilian 620 wins points here for having a mouthpiece and vapor pack that you can completely disassemble. This means declogging the air path and cleaning the convection helix is a breeze, which is something that serves to benefit long-term users. Also, everything in the mouthpiece is replaceable in the event that it breaks. It even includes a little tool in the bottom of the device, meaning I can get to those hard to reach places. So big points to the Utilian 620 there. Now the menu system on the Air Max is something I've complained about before, given my preference for the more robust file button setup that you get with the Solo 2. And honestly, the Utilian 620 beats the Air Max in this category as well, offering a much larger screen than the Air Max does. Now, to be completely fair, the screen on the 620 isn't the brightest and has some issues in daylight, but still, I'll take the 620's bigger screen any day of the week. Now, both devices use a three button layout, which is completely adequate for changing temperature and device settings. Although the Solo 2 is like the gold standard with that more robust five button layout. And boy, do I love a robust five button layout. <laughs> Now, battery life is where the larger size of the Air Max really starts to shine. In this case, bigger is definitely better as the Air Max features a hefty 5,750 milliamp per hour battery, which will last you for about two and a half hours of continuous usage. 
or in my testing, about three and a half days of infrequent sessions. And not only does it win points for providing a USB-C port, but it also wins points for being completely replaceable. Simply unscrew the bottom of the device and replace accordingly. Now the Utilion 620 features a less than hefty 2,300 milliamp per hour battery, which will last for about an hour of continuous usage or about a day of infrequent sessions before you need a recharge. It also uses micro USB, which leaves something to be desired. So as far as battery life is concerned, the Air Max definitely has the advantage here. Now the topic of discreteness is where the smaller size of the Utilion 620 really starts to shine. The Air Max with its protruding glass stem is naturally a lot more difficult to hide. And if you'd like to put the Air Max in a carrying case, you'll need to remove the stem first. This means you need to be in a place where you can safely dispose of your cooked herb. And if you're fresh off a session, you'll need to wait in order to reduce the odor of disposing your cooked herb. The 620 is simply durable enough to go into a bag or a purse without the worry of it breaking. Not only that, but this device features a nifty vibration motor, meaning once your bowl gets up to temperature, you will be alerted via two soft vibrating pulses, as opposed to two loud beeps like on the Air Max. And the less than bright screen could be seen as an advantage for discreteness as well. So the Utilion 620 takes it in this category. So with all that in mind, which device wins the showdown? Well, in my opinion, both devices provide different advantages for different preferences. If you want a device you can commute with that's quick, simple, but provides serious cloud production, I'd recommend going with the Utilion 620. With its larger display, automatic startup, quicker heating time, and lower profile, it's a great hassle-free option for users who simply want a heavy hitting device that they can take around with them. But if you're looking to maximize flavor and long-term usage without the need to take the device around with you everywhere you go, the Air Max is a great option considering it has that lower temperature floor. Now, while the wider range of temperatures is a plus for the Air Max, the overall win goes to the 620 due to the portability and amount of features it boasts. And that does it for our head-to-head -head showdown of the Utilion 620 and Ariser's Air Max. Did you agree? Did we leave anything out? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to support the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and punch that bell in order to be notified of when we release a new video. I've been Varmin for T-Vape, and to all my connoisseurs out there, keep on vaping.